the Purina Pet Parade and Tito's Wiener Dog Derby are set to kick off Mardi Gras celebrations on the right foot this weekend, or should we say the right paw. Dana Di Piazza joins us live from Soulard Market Park this morning with some pretty special guests. That's right, Dana, a lot of very special guests. I'm actually standing here right now with Mr. Dan with Purina and Miss Mary with Mardi Gras Inc. And we have a very exciting finale for you, so you're not going to want to miss it. But we have to talk about all the fun that's going to happen this weekend right here in Soulard and on Sunday back to back. So this Purina Pet Parade, talk to me a little bit about it. Yeah, this is the 29th year we've done this event. Believe it or not, we're coming up on three decades. It's a fundraiser for Open Door Animal Sanctuary out in House Springs. You can register your pet to walk in the parade, PurinaPetParade.com through this evening or come out on site starting at 10 a.m. the corner of 12th and Allen. Again, all that money for the registration fee goes directly to Open Door. We encourage you to dress your pets up in costume. We've got some great Mardi Gras uh, regalia out here. The more hilarious costumes, the better. Our friends at the Post Dispatch are running the costume contest, which you can vote on starting next week. Once we get done winding through the streets of Soulard, we're going to wind up here at Soulard Market Park. Tons of vendors, tons of games, lots of Purina samples and goodies. Our friends from Schnooks will be out here, St. Louis City SC as well, among many others. You're not going to go home empty handed. It's the most photogenic event of the year. That's right. And not just for dogs. I, I asked you, I have a cat named Honey. She's adorable and she would be perfect in your parade. And you said if I could just dress her up, she can come. Yeah, we'd love to see Honey out here on Sunday. The weather's going to be great. Nothing like it is today. 60s and sunny. It's going to be a perfect weather day for this event. They said they've had pigs in this parade. They've had turtles. It's wild. Everybody loves the Purina Pet Parade. That's so we want right. everybody to come on out and check it out for themselves. I will not be missing that. Well, after the Purina Pet Parade, they're having a race. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's the Tito's Wiener Dog Derby Race. And typically we have about 400 uh, dogs competing in what we call the slowest two minutes in sports <laughs> racing history. And they compete in about four different categories. We've got cocktail wieners, uh, ballpark franks, hot dogs, and then the wiener wannabes, the dogs who can fit in the box that can fit in the uh, starting gate and they're ready to go. And it's a lot of fun, hilarious moments. Uh, the gate goes up and some of the dogs run straight to their owners. Others stop, lick their paws. Uh, some go over and try and play with another dog and right. even some go back to the starting gate and sit down. You never know what they're really going to do. You, you don't and that's why you want to bring your camera and everybody's welcome. It's free to watch, $10 to enter. You can go to stlmardigras.org to register and we look forward to seeing everybody out there. That's right. Definitely something you can throw up on Instagram after that. Definitely. Now we have a special finale here. We have some dog owners who want to see if their dog can make it in this race this weekend. So we're going to do a little practice practice round here today and see which one of these dogs would win the race. If y'all want to go ahead and set up, we're going to see out of all these dogs. We have this dog right here in the blues outfit. There's his owner said that he's won quite a few times. So we're wondering here if he's going to keep that reputation up. Are we ready to go? All right. You can see lots of little wiener dogs here, all dressed up, looking super cute. And we're going to have them take it away here in a, just a moment. Look, we're having some some costume difficulties here. Alrighty, we got this guy playing the trumpet for us. He's getting us ready to go, as you can hear. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Everybody good to go? It's hard when you have little dogs in little outfits. They don't know how to act. <laughs> They're not used to it. Okay, are we ready? Here we go in three, two, one, go. And this one won. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's really a lot. And they all look so cute. It's like they're all really, they're winning, all of them. So this one won. And what is this dog's name? This is Rhett. Rhett? Yes. So Rhett won. Has Rhett ever been in the parade before? Yes, he won in the cocktail division in 2019 and 2020. So this is not Rhett's first, no. this <laughs> first time. So great job, Rhett. We hope that you win in the parade this weekend. Of course, we want to see you come out. We'll have all those details over on our website and on our social media. So you don't want to miss this. So much fun. That was close. So uh, back to your, uh, your pet. Will Honey wear a costume, do you think? What costume for Honey? Yeah. Really, the options are endless. Um, I'm thinking maybe a, a devil costume for her. She's really not the most well-behaved animal, but I love her. So to me, she's an angel, so maybe an angel. A okay. Halo. That, that sounds great. Well, thank you so much, Dana. <laughs> and now